Yes, the answer is yes. But you really wouldn't know it. According to Spotify, only certain artists deserve to get paid, at least with the announced changes that are coming in 2024. I encourage you to read the full announcement because there are some things in this video I'm not going to cover. But essentially, artists will now be required to hit a certain listener slash streaming threshold, which has not been disclosed, in order to be eligible to earn the royalties that are made off of their art. According to Music Business Worldwide, Spotify is planning to execute these changes in an attempt to combat the drains on the royalty pool, all of which are currently stopping money from getting to working artists. <laughs> Out of all the problems I have with the music industry, I think this highlights one of the greatest prevailing sentiments that in order for your art to be valuable, it must be consumed at a level that you make your living from it. And granted, this is coming from a platform that has made making a living from your art significantly harder. The working artist, or Spotify's future bona fide artist, is almost exclusively defined by how much attention they can garner on Spotify's platform. In short, Spotify is making a clear distinction who matters and who doesn't. I hate that art can be reduced to the amount of clicks it attracts. It's impossible to fully commodify or even standardize the amount of value that art provides to people's lives, but it's very clear that the music industry continues to go in a sour direction. I was watching the Anthony Fantano video on this, and one of the commenters, Mr. Andrew Hudson 7108, said something quite brilliant. Imagine playing for a small club. They don't pay, but they'll give drink tickets and maybe a free meal. But maybe after playing, they're like, no, nah, we only give something to real artists. It's not about a few dollars. It's about the principle and the way Spotify phrased popular equating to real, which is a slap in the face to the egalitarian notion of art and any band that has had to start from the ground up. Roses, roses, roses for this comment. There are so many things that go into being a marketable artist, and many of those things are entirely, or at least partially, out of your control. This is a very discouraging move, to say the least, and unfortunately, I feel like it's a part of a larger theme of devaluing art across the board. One of my day jobs is I write about audio and music production, and I'm currently working on a piece for later this year about AI and music. And regardless about how you feel about that from a moral perspective or creative perspective even, I think we continue to leave artists' payment out of the discussion and the continued devaluation and also capture of value by non-musicians, uh, by certain industries out of the bigger conversation. If AI and innovation and uh, the music industry is so much better than it used to be, why aren't larger paychecks for artists and not just those at the top, top 0.01% coming with it? It seems to me that tech as a whole has intercepted a lot of that value as a new de facto middleman and has the means to do whatever they want with it, really. <laughs> and shocker, building a sustainable creator middle class really isn't at the top of the priority list. And this isn't just music. We see this playing out in SAG strikes, in fashion and dance, in everything that touches craft. I've made a whole video about this if you're interested. This is huge news on its own. And it's worth mentioning that this is going to have huge ripple effects, right? Like, God forbid this leads other streaming platforms to do the same. There are so many services that take a cut of an artist's royalties in exchange for comped distribution, that sort of thing, which makes publishing as an indie artist 
affordable <laughs> for indie artists. So, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if we see some changes on that end. And I feel like it's only going to continue to bottleneck artists who are just getting out there or artists who just have been there and are established but are in the shadows because maybe they're not a great marketer. While this is happening now, we got to talk about that streaming platforms have been oh so quietly. I'm so sorry. They are uh, like blowing leaves outside. So it's ambiance. But yes, yeah, streaming platforms have been quietly paying less out over time. And we don't even talk about it. This is not my graphic. Uh, there's this whole video on Ben Jordan's channel uh, that you should check out. But yes, it's not just Spotify. <laughs> it's all the streaming platforms. Though if you are really a concerned listener, artists do get paid considerably more on a platform like Tidal. So they're not all equal, but it's worth noting that the value of the stream just continues to do 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 do. It's a moving, destructive target. And it's very interesting that this is coming off of the first profitable quarter in Spotify's history. It's also very interesting that this is coming off of the fairly recent introduction of Discovery Mode, which if you don't know, is a program in which artists can opt in eligible songs to get preferential algorithmic treatment in exchange for less royalties on the back end of Spotify for Artists platform. And with all that considered, if your royalties aren't captured by opting in for discovery mode or uh, <laughs> potentially in 2024 just existing as a small artist, it's really, really hard to make any sort of sustainable income off of streaming platforms alone. I always love to share this graphic, but let's say you get a million streams, right? And if you're getting a million streams, you probably don't have 100% of your royalties, but we'll just say you do. How much money do you think you would earn from a million streams hmm? a million different people a million different people pressing play on a piece of art how much do you think that's worth well currently you would earn around twenty four hundred dollars but if you do the math and let's say you're getting a million listeners every single month you are earning twenty eight thousand dollars before taxes. <laughs> it's just kind of wild. I think I think a lot of people just don't know quite how bad it is or how hard it is to not be rich and exuberant. Most of the artists I know don't really desire that. We just want to make a sustainable living. But yeah, do just that, like pay your bills off of your craft alone. And with these Spotify changes, we have no idea what that threshold is going to be. It could change at a whim. As said by Pitchfork, the first proposed change to Spotify's royalty system requires for a song to hit a minimum number of annual streams before it will generate royalties. That threshold, which has not been announced, will reportedly demonetize songs. According to Music Business Weekly, that money will be redistributed through Spotify's stream share royalty pot and pay out to more popular songs. While I'm very happy <laughs> that other artists will be potentially making more, but also I don't know how much I, how much I trust that. I can't, it's not just, uh, they don't just want a Robin Hood small artist just so other artists can make more. That's, that's not the only intention here, obviously. This problem <laughs> of artists not being able to make a living should not be solved by taking money from emerging artists seems like that should be fairly obvious and this is coming off of another very devastating blow when Bandcamp was acquired by Epic Games. Um, as said through Bandcamp United, this is their union, today Epic Games' sale of Bandcamp to SongTrader was closed and at least half of the Bandcamp staff was laid off. This is huge because it was a lot of curators, a lot of people who took the time to comb through indie music regardless of the precedent level of attention or marketing that it had and uh, really was was one of the last vestiges of hope for the undiscovered 
a truly independent artist. And the irony is that I'm talking about this on YouTube, right? Something similar was enacted around 2018 uh, to increase the threshold for monetization. There is an argument that content is different than art and uh, we could get into that. But regardless, I don't think I'm necessarily entitled to earning just because I've garnered a level of attention but I do have a problem with a company or someone else profiting off of something I've created when I don't get a cut of that profit. <laughs> I would venture to say that most people listen to music and consume it. And on my TikTok, a friend and another fellow artist, Kat Valentine, made a great point. No one wants to pay musicians. Fans don't want to buy music. Event hosts don't want to pay for entertainment. Venues want to take a cut. Radio is dead. I do think there are some people who genuinely want to help out artists, but uh, I think it's few and far between for a lot of reasons. Money is tight all around, but also people don't know quite how bad it is. But I think this comment does highlight an overarching theme of it, the music industry being progressively more unsustainable. You think about the costs of putting on shows and what you get at shows and um, touring and uh, merch. And thankfully, merch cuts are gone now because people talked about it. There's just so much more goes into being sustainable in this industry. So what can we do, right? I had no idea, but there are unions. There are unions for musicians. I will share them in the description most people who consume music who aren't musicians or artists like they just don't know and i also feel like on a level artists who are just getting into this industry they don't know either they're promised a dream that might not even exist one thing that was really surprising to me and um i didn't really even think about until i started performing out live more is that one of the biggest festivals ever like south by southwest Musicians, if you're a group and you get selected to play at a highly profitable festival, you get $200. You don't get any travel expenses. You don't get accommodation. You don't get food. And it's you don't even get guaranteed admission to see the other acts or panels or whatever. You get to choose one per act if you take a $200 fee, which is nothing, or access to the rest of the conference. It's wild. So yeah, I highly recommend checking out these different pages. I'm learning so much every day. But yeah, other than that, I mean, we just got to talk about it, make our voices heard and it's wild. And also remember, if you're an artist, it's not you, baby. It's not you. I think it's so easy to be like, why can't I make this work? And it's not you. It's just impossible within the current climate. Yeah, very uplifting. I know. <laughs> but would love to hear your thoughts on this, whether you're an artist or you're just a music lover or regardless. But um, <sighs> I'll see you later. Bye-bye.